Alrighty, guys and gals, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm Big E, and we are back on our viewer submitted hardcore challenge. It is called the Zero Damage Challenge, and it is exactly what it sounds like. The challenge is to get as far as you can or to max level without taking a single amount of damage from any single source. So far, we've managed to do it. Can I make this jump? I mean, I know I can, but now I'm nervous about it. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, this challenge was <clears throat> submitted by Medlord. And I've got a little ranking system that I've come up with myself. And I'll put it up on the screen up there. Right now, we're currently level 6. Which means, let me open this up, way too big. What's going on? Hold on, everybody. <laughs> what belt do we have here? We have the white belt. We have earned ourselves a white belt. My short-term goal is to get to level 10, and we will earn ourselves an orange belt. Yes, we will. I took the basic, uh, well, the standard jujitsu belts. Uh, when you first start, you're oftentimes granted a white belt, a beginner's belt. Um, boy, I gotta be careful. Then there's a blue belt, a purple belt, a brown belt, and a black belt. And then I've added my own belts in between. Some of these belt colors exist in other martial art forms, like Taekwondo, Shurin Ru, you name it. And I put stripes on them every five levels little short-term achievement goals. The music sounds like it's a little bit too loud. Which means it probably is. Crank, the, crank this down a few megahertz. Anyway, this is White Belt. This is our little gnome mage. And we are currently in Elwyn Forest. And we're going to head into Northshire Abbey. And we're going to do those intro quests. Now, i got to be careful in here. In fact, I need to be real careful in here because these mobs are going to be our level. Spiders and cut purses and what have you. So, we made it to level four, which was a big deal because we were able to get Frostbolt. And that's how we've been able to take on mobs so far. The Frostbolt slow them down and we're able to burn them down before they get to us now the thing about this challenge it's a lot harder than it even sounds a lot harder it's got to take some planning and some strategy the dark mood fair is kicking off and we do have a quest to go over there let's see if we can get some easy xp yeah we are not doing the fargo deep mind <clears throat> the mine, even. I don't even know if I'm doing that yet. Let me see if I could turn in any of these quests. Do we get actually character Yo. XP for this? Hey, how's it going? Let's see. Be good. We got 650 right there. Nice. I'll take that. What else does he have? Time is money, friend. Five tickets. I get a dark moon flower. Have a good one. Interesting. Um No update on this yet. But if you hide your UI, that happens. Well we can equip We can equip a flower. What's it look like? There it is. Look at that. Look at us with a flower in our hand. If you're wondering why we don't have any gear, it's because we don't... It does absolutely nothing for us. We're, we need green gear. What's up? Keep it real. Okay. Strongest woman alive. Let's check around here. 
Maybe we get some easy XP for some of this. Hello. Hi. Oh, I see. You got to bring them Be things. Careful. Yeah, this is a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot different. Daylight's a lot different burning. in classic than it is in current versions. There's all kinds of games and stuff you can do here. So not a whole lot we can do. This guy's going to want something else. We could get a little buff here. And I don't remember how you get your your buffs in here. But let's see. Let me see if I can get a wisdom buff here. It says, very well then, you have been tasked by your liege to guard his fields of corn from poachers and thieves. One night on patrol, you stumble across a haggard man in threadbare clothing stealing corn from the field. You quickly confront him and he immediately begs for his life. He claims he is stealing the corn to feed his family, since the lord of the land, your liege, demands too much in taxes. Your liege is indeed known for his harsh taxes throughout the land. Make your choice. Okay, I'll tell you right now, I'm not going with choice one. I would not slay the man on the spot and judge him as nothing more than a thief and a liar. That's probably a, I don't know what buff you'd get there. I turn over the man to my liege for punishment as he has broken the law of the land and it is my sworn duty to enforce it. This would be a thought. However, I'm a pretty empathetic dude. I would allow the man to take enough corn to feed his family for a couple of days, encouraging encouraging him to leave the land. I wouldn't even do that. This is what I would do. I wouldn't even take the corn from him. You have alone. You alone have defeated a terrible beast that has been ravaging the countryside, taking its ear as a trophy. You later learned that your liege had offered a reward for the beast's death, death and that a kind but destitute knight who knows... God, the reading today. Who you know is trying to support a family by meager means claims the beast's kill as his own. You have no real need for money yourself, but you know that the destitute knight is lying for his own personal gain. Make your choice. What would I do here? Would I show the beast's ear and claim the beast's death, death as my own, taking the reward for my own use? Probably not. I would show my liege the beast's ear and claim the beast's death as my own. After all, I did slay it. I would then offer some of the reward to the destitute knight to help his family. Probably something I would do. I would remain silent about the kill and allow the knight to claim the aid to his family. I don't think I would remain silent because I think my pride would swell up a little bit here, but I would probably help this guy out. What do we get? Spirit. We'll take some spirit. We'll take some spir uh, spirit. Yes, we will. All right, we're going to head up into Northshire Abbey and do that starting zone. Worst HC right here. <laughs> you want to compare track records? I'm pretty sure I have. I'm worst HC. Easy. I got to be careful here. There's bears and stuff all over. Wait a minute. Where am I going? I'm not going the right way. I'm running deep into the dark forest. I think we're kind of safe over here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. I'm not doing too bad. I'm enjoying this challenge so far. This challenge um, comes out Monday through Friday. It's five days every day. I think I'm. it's at 11 a.m. Maybe it is. Hello there. 24. Oh, man. We're such a low level that an 8 stam, 80 health, gives us about 40-something percent more health. <laughs> Which, again, doesn't matter. Now, that, this was a good one. This spirit... This is, I mean, aside from intellect, spirit is probably the best. It's either int or spirit. As a matter of fact, I know that it is. It helps with our crit chance, I believe. And our mana uh, points. And spirit, of course, helps with health and mana regeneration. We don't have to worry about the health regeneration, but that mana regeneration is nice. Alrighty, we're relatively 
safe in here. We should be two to three levels above everything. Actually, we're going to be five. Yeah, five to, I don't know, five to two levels above stuff. So obviously what we're going to work on, even if the mobs are gray to us, we still get experience for the quest turn in. So we're just going to start. We'll be careful. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? Bring 12 bandanas to Deputy Willem. Safe travels. We've done the intro quest here. I, I did forget I that we did you? the intro quest where you, you come talk to him and then you just come here and talk to this guy. But we can pick up some of these lower level quests now. Like the kobolds. King's honor, friend. King's honor, bro. Go with honor, friend. I'll go with some honor. This guy was here. This, this corpse has been here a long time. I think you have these really young players. <laughs> Wait, where's the wolf cleanup? Oh, I think it's over here. I was on some horde pl uh, character on a HC server, I think, and it was Good just all of you. these corpses were... I mean, I'm assuming Have it was a like one. a really young kid or something, and it, they would do all these, like, bum-bum, poop, just like all these really kitty type of character names, and then they would just kill themselves, and they'd just be all over outside of the bank. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> all right, let's start in here. Two frost bolts into fireball. We should be fine. And again, we don't get quest X, I mean, mob XP, but that's okay. It's okay. We just want the the X, the quest turn in XP. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. There's a lot of people here. If you do not know, this server is kicking. This is the Blood Sail Buccaneer server. It's a hardcore server. Well, it's just... Ooh. To get resisted from something that we are five levels above is kind of BS. We weren't in any real danger there, but still. That should not be a thing. Like, that wolf rolled a 100-sided die, and he had to roll a 63 exactly, and he rolled it. <laughs> we could kill the level twos. Yeah, this is what I need to be doing here, because we do actually get XP for the level twos. The only hostile mobs you'll find in here uh, are going to be across the river here. I don't even think they're hostile in the... In the mine? I could be wrong. We'll find out. Now, if you're playing Wrath of the Lich King... Dude, what is going on here? I've got to be on my toes. Fighting mobs like this, I've got to be on my toes here. But if you're playing Wrath of the Lich King or, or later, you won't... There will not be any hostile mobs in your starting area. I prefer the hostile mobs in my area, Blizzard. Kind of hard to tag a mob around here. Da, 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 da. Let's track these quests. Da, 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 da. I wonder if the kobolds have a resistance to a kind of a small resistance. I don't know. We got resisted by the wolf as well. I'll just be careful. Anyway, it's a Saturday evening for me. I was not able to live stream today. I, I worked all day. I had too much to do. I wasn't actually feeling really well either. Allergies have been pretty rough. It's been a pretty rough week for me for allergies. Need the vermins here. 
Yeah, I was thinking about, you know, doing it now. So I didn't get to get up to the gym until like an hour and a half ago, but I just, I didn't, I figured if I'd go to the gym, I would have really good energy. I just didn't. I didn't have the energy level. I didn't think I would to like have a good stream. Oh man. There's another resist. Be careful there, don't I? So many people here. It's kind of crazy. It feels like a, a fresh server because the hardcore community, you know, if you've not done a hardcore challenge or don't really know about Season of Mastery or care or any of that, you have people trying to get to max level without dying. It's permadeath. And so people are dying, just like I always do, and then uh, re-rolling characters. So they're, they're constantly going through these starting zones, uh, which makes the server just really, really densely... It feels like it's really densely populated. There are a lot of people on the server. I will say that. If I can get my vermins in here. There's a resist again. They must... These... I mean, unless we're just really getting unlucky here, they must have a resistance to, to frost or fire or something. That's what it feels like. They actually don't need the workers, and that's a level three. Let's go turn in the wolf uh, meat quest. That might actually get us to level seven. Hello. Hi. See you around. See you around. Nah, we, we didn't get there. Let's go sell the uh, garbage in our bags. Looking for something specific? I'm just looking to sell some garbage, bro. I wish you wouldn't be so creepy about what you say. Looking for something specific. <laughs> what do you mean by that, See man? You later. <laughs> so I've I see this a lot on this server. I think there are a lot of people doing naked challenges. <laughs> and it pleases me greatly. It does please me, man. There's a little level over there. Congratulations. So the workers have the blue shirts. We're looking for the vermin. It's like a blue collar worker, but we may as well slay them, I guess. I think we've got some RP going on in front of us here. I don't, maybe not. They might be in the same group or something. <laughs> this is a role playing server, and you will have people role playing. Which I think is awesome. Yeah, this... It's just hard to get a tag on stuff. Let's see if we can... Uh, these are both workers. There's a vermin. If I can get this vermin. Now, going quick like this is how I will die. Like trying to get a tag on a mob. Fortunately, they're not hostile. Like, I would not be anywhere near this area if these mobs were hostile. I'll tell you that. Melted candle. Kobolds love their candles. And they don't want you taking them. I wonder how many candles have been taken from kobolds. I would like to know. It's got to be in the millions. Easily in the millions. <laughs> There's another resist. So I am also going to be taking... I'm going to be choosing abilities... That helped my hit chance. And I think uh, I had a couple of different people point out that I should do that. Very important in this challenge. Am I done with the workers? No, I need two more. So let's see if I can... I mean the vermin. See if I can get two more vermin here. And that's a great idea. 
There's my last one right here. I'm a little bit low in mana, but I should have enough to get this full down since it's a level one. Alrighty. Yeah, we'll see hostile mobs across the river over here. And there's a lot of running patrols, patrols that run around. So got to be damn careful over there. But we've got a long way to go before we think about level 10, don't we? <laughs> so my game plan here is gain experience points by exploration, doing as, as many quests as we can, which require, you know, the, our priority is going to be no killing quests, just no ch chance to take damage, really, like delivery stuff, whatever. Light be with you. I'm going to be careful in every area, and I want to be ideally three to four levels above for the alliance. Whatever I'm fighting is ideally. I want them to be green mobs. Okay, so we've moved on to the workers. Got quite a bit of rested XP. I've not, not actually been on the character in, in in a while. Well, not a while, but it's been three or four days. So these are level three. Now we are now four levels above these freaks, which is good. I got to watch out for the resist. And I got to watch out for the, I'm going to call it a glitch, <laughs> where a melee mob is able to hit you from a distance that he shouldn't. But I feel like that really happens whenever you're being chased. I, I feel like that's when that happens. I also know that none of these mobs will do AoE damage to us, so I don't have to worry about fighting beside somebody and potentially taking AoE damage, but that's something I definitely have to worry about moving forward. And also the type of mob that we're going to be fighting. to Make sure they don't cast spells, throw knives, things like that. Because that would be a bad way to go. To fight a mob that has no mana, thinking, okay, this is just a melee mob, and I put a frost bolt on it, and then he just throws a knife at me. Now, my frost armor... I, Mage might have something. Somebody mentioned to me, I might have something that actually negates damage. But I don't remember what it's called. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that ability really closely, really closely. Got a little stash of workers back here. Let's dig in and enjoy. I've also realized, I did not know this, that apparently you can't get any, there is no linen cloth to be gotten off of humanoid mobs in your starting zone. And I think Blizzard probably did that on purpose to keep higher level players from coming in and farming the area for linen cloth. So we're going to have to wait till we get outside of these starting areas before we get any linen. And we want the linen for our tailoring so that we can start making some green gear for us to wear. That's why I picked it up. I know there are other professions that would benefit us, but I honestly, I don't know what would benefit us more than tailoring right now. I know alchemy, you know, health pots are useless, right? Think about it. Health pots are useless. Armor pots are useless. The regeneration pots are use, useless. This this uh this challenge really I really like it. It's a great idea and it's there's things about it I did not even think of. The pots that would help us would be an intellect pot or some other spell power, but I don't I'm trying to remember like when do you get those? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay, we've finish that up. Let's go turn this in. I guess we can start getting some of these bandanas since we, it looks like uh, we're pretty, we should be three, three levels above the mobs.
Anyway, if you are new or newish, I did uh, do, I have a thing I do on the channel. The name of it has changed a couple of different times, but it's like a one-on-one. -on -one. I think right now it's called From the King's Room and it might change again. Anyway, it's just a little thing I do where I do a little video and I make an announcement or I ask questions. I just saw somebody over there being chased by hella mobs. But I did put out something on the channel saying, if you can come up with a custom challenge, let me know. Submit it to me. You can even you can either leave it to me in the comments. Or you can find my business email address. No problem giving it out in the about section of the channel. And if you submit it, I will put it on the list right now. I think we have 12 or 13 different types of challenges we're going to be doing. One after another, I'm going to roll dice to determine when I'm going to do them. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, dude. Okay. I don't think these things throw knives, do they? We have thugs. I'm go I have to watch here. I've got to watch another player to see... To see what happens. I don't think they throw knives. They will cross the river. Interesting. But yeah, so what I did is I put all of these on a piece of paper. I put all the challenges down on a piece of paper. And then I rolled a die and we did. Oh my God. Boy, I was L I L O S myself there on the second cast. I just rolled dice, and I just whatever was the corresponding number, I uh, picked it, and that's the one we did. I just happened to choose right now, probably the most difficult challenge I've ever done. Way harder than the Iron Man challenge, <laughs> because the Iron Man challenge you can at least take damage. I'm gonna pick on this level three right here. Now, if I pull two mobs, we're in real big trouble. Real big trouble. Look at that mob pop up right there. Oh my god. I that dude, that scares me so much when that happens. And it happens a lot. Like, I get my first Frostbolt, I start casting, and the mob turns and he starts to walk away, and he walks out of range. I hit him with the first Frost... Oh my god, this isn't fair! This isn't fair! Oh my god, dude! So, let me tell you what happened right there, if you don't know. There was a player who ran across here and pulled this mob while I was in combat with this one. The player ran out of range. This mob, the aggro turned and came over to me. <laughs> Just because I was in the vicinity, man, that is not fair, dude. I thought we were dead right there. I thought we were going to die right there. Man. Let me pick this stuff up and get out of here. So as you know, if you're playing on a highly populated server, the spawn rates are disgusting. They're insane. You can have mobs respawning right on top of you. So I'm going to do my best just to stay over here. And if I see somebody coming... If I see somebody coming, I'm just getting the hell out. I'm just getting away from them. I wouldn't advise trying to help somebody or save somebody in this challenge. <laughs> because if that person dies, you're going to have all of the mobs spawn on you. I think I can just pull her here. Looks like a pretty good drop rate on the bandanas. Oh my god, I'll fucking resist. 
Oh boy. That's why I do two frost bolts and uh, I open up with two frost bolts. I'm all, I'm wondering if I should do three. Just in case. We need six more. I don't like this area. <laughs> somebody in comments, I think they said there was somebody who who got to max level without taking any damage on his character. I, I can't. I just can't. I, how is that possible? Like, what did that person do? How long did it take? I'm really nervous about fighting these mobs right here. Okay. It's a pretty good drop rate on the mobs, which is good for this quest. Da, 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 da. So many people. Oh, my buffs are gone here. Again, frost armor, it doesn't really do anything for us. <laughs> the only way frost armor would work for us is if we were being chased. The mob... Come on, man. If the mob somehow missed a hit... Look at her coming for me here. This dude just ran off because he knew he was getting the XP for it. Bastard. <laughs> if the mob was chasing us, missed, he could be slowed by our frost armor. It would allow us to get away. Now, that's a pretty lucky thing that would have to happen. But it could. I'm not going to count on it, obviously. Let's, there's, it's probably no sense of marking these because people are just, they're just farming this area, but there are patrols that run around and I, I got to be careful. One doesn't run up on me. I also don't like being in the water like this. So here he comes. Yeah, this is not. Oh my God. I thought I was going to pull two right there. Thought we, he was close enough to pull this guy. This guy over here. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do three frost bolts. Four more. Three more. Another thing I have to remember is I do have escape artist. It's okay. If I were somehow get rooted in this in some odd situation, got to remember I could potentially use that to get out before a mob gets to me and hope that the root doesn't cause some kind of damage over time. So that's the other thing to think about. Like you've really got to be careful with mobs you select. If you select a cat, well, first of all, do not fight casters. Uh, that's We're just not going to do it. <laughs> it just takes, boom, an instant dot on your character, you're, and you're done. End of the challenge. <laughs> I don't like how close this mob is over here. Okay, we're fine here. Right there is what I'm talking about. This mob's popped back up. Now, fortunately, you've got like a two, maybe two or three seconds a window to where they don't, they won't aggro right away. That would be really terrible if they did. I'm keeping my eyes open for this patrol mob. Right, we just need one more here.
Can we get lucky here? We are not. And that is a white sword, so I, I just want to drop some garbage. Here comes this guy. I feel like that'll sell for a little bit more. All right, this is our last mob right here. Well, maybe not. Hopefully he drops what we need, though. He does. Okay. Let's go turn this in. What? What is it? What? More work? <laughs> Best voice acting ever. Best voice acting ever. One thing I don't think we're going to mess with, uh, we're probably not going to do Garrick Padfoot. I don't know. It's probably possible to do when there's so many people here, but I feel like there'd be a line of people waiting. But I don't think I'm going to do the grapes. I, it's just too risky. I buy and trade. Also, picking up the items, the grape barrels, will aggro mobs that are close by. It can aggro the mobs. It's like a, a chest. You open a treasure chest, and sometimes it'll aggro the mobs standing near you. See you around. How are you? Good. Yeah, none of this matters, but it says that sells for more. We can go talk to, to Millie, and he wants you us to do something? Garrick. See you around. Let me just pick it up. Need help? We can do Life laborers. Can do laborers. Yeah, I mean, smell my bum. I mean, I don't know. This is like an eight-year-old kid, I guess. But it's strange that it's on the Alliance and the Horde. It, it seems to be on hardcore servers. <laughs> so weird. I guess not if you're thinking, okay, it's like an eight-year-old or whatever. Then it's not weird. Then it's normal. Hello. Safe travels. Yeah, man. I, this is too risky. Have a good one. It's too risky for a couple of different reasons. Well, mainly, there just would be mobs coming and going, spawning. It's doable in the sense that there's so many people doing it, we could potentially get what we need. I wonder if I should just pick it up. Also, what level is Garrick? No. Okay, we're not doing that. These are yellow quests. Just not doing it. We'll go do the... The, um... The laborers. The laborers, I think, are inside the mine, but I don't think they're hostile. We'll go see. Sorry about your stuff, Millie, but... It's too risky. And I don't know who is in charge of Northshire Valley security, but they need to be fired immediately because it is just overrun. <laughs> Workers. I don't think these guys are hostile. They're not hostile. I don't know if anything is hostile in here. Yeah, they're not hostile. Didn't even check to see if they would put a dot. It looks like they don't. So because they're not hostile, I can take on... They won't aggro the other one. LOS. So let me just take on this guy instead. LOS there. Don't 
Don't want to be LOS'd anywhere. I'm trying to get a sense of how far away I am here. Without Frostbolt, this would not be doable. Warlock, it's between Mage and Warlock uh, with this challenge. I feel like the only two... I mean, you could try it on any class, and I'd be interested to hear maybe if somebody else is doing this or how any other ideas for how they could potentially do it. I would be interested. Let's get this mob behind her monster behind you got a little bit too close for comfort there you can't do this on a melee class I don't think right I mean how how would you do this on a melee class and I did get confirmation that professions do not give you your character XP you get profession XP but I think that's later in a later expansions, I was told. I was unsure, but confirmed. Thank you. Thanks, people, for confirming that for me. I would have probably looked it up eventually, but... <laughs> I, I, I wonder if I should change that. I need to keep buying that. Let's take a drink here. Fire Blast is instant. It does some pretty good damage. That freaked me out a little bit right there. This mob came running. They're not hostile, so that's all we care about. I've also got to be really careful about being los in a place like this. Like, trees are different. You can shoot them off through a tree and they have to run around, but you can still hit them. But I could potentially hit a cast and then the mob changes course a little, it gets behind something, and then I'm los for my second shot, which we don't want. We just need one more here. Do we have any chests in here? Can sometimes be a chest down there. You're on your own, lady. I can't really help you. So many people here. Let's see if I can get one of these tags. I'd like to get this guy here. This is what I'm talking about. And it literally just happened to us right. Wow. That's the exact thing I was talking about that could potentially happen. All right, we might be done here. Honestly, I, I, these are just too risky. I, it's not doing a yellow quest. I, 
Just, I don't... It's too risky to do the yellow a yellow quest. Your chances of being resisted, your spells go up. They increase. The closer something is to your level, at your level, and especially if something is higher level than you are. It's not worth it. Well met. Report to Goldshire. Be careful. Yeah, I think we're done here. We're heading out. Farewell, Northshire. We got a level. 45 minutes in. Let's go report to Goldshire. A hearthstone is Cold Ridge Valley. Which we need to change. Because we have completed the quest there as well. All that we can do. I'm not doing Grek near. Too risky to do Grek near the gold. Where you go into the Trog Cave and get the journal. All the mobs are hostile. There'll be a ton of people. Similar situation. Uh, with the, the mines here. I'm probably just going to avoid caves altogether. Yeah, these uh, Dark Moon Fair buffs are pretty good. Pretty damn good and classic. And you can look up how to answer if you're looking for agility or strength or wisdom or spirit. You can look up how to answer them. I don't remember. But I remember, like, I always wanted the agility buff for it was either my hunter or a rogue I had. It's like you just answer th three twice or something. I don't remember, but you can look up how you want it. It's a two-hour buff, and it will persist uh, persist through your logout. What can I do for you? Not death, though. I don't think it per persists through death. Explore the Fargo Deep Mine. No. <laughs> Go with honor, friend. Just not doing it. Um... What other quests do we have here? We have Cobalt Candles. Gold Dust Exchange. Yeah, we don't well, we don't want to be doing this right what now. What can I do for you? See you later. <laughs> yeah, yellow and orange quests. So we might have find ourselves in another kind of awkward spot here. Good day to you. This is the same. This is yellow. Uh, I guess I'll just pick these one. up. Uh, and if, as we level up, maybe they turn green and get a little bit easier. Good day to you. Um, See you around. Let's take a look on the map here. <laughs> yeah, we just can't do any of this. The areas where these quests are are just too... Too uh, too tough for us. Now, I guess this is what we do. We come back here. Now, I think the boars in this area have this thing where they charge you. I'm pretty sure. Not here in Coldridge Valley. I did not see it happen. But out here, I think these boars have a charge that they do. And it's quite freaking scary. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. We're kind of back in a situation... I think what we have to do is just find an area where the mobs are level three or four. Four or less and grind them out, I think is what we're going to have to do. But we're working. It's working. We are still alive. Still kicking. Do I have any... Um... Damn this bar. <laughs> I was going to say, see if I had anything to cook up. But um, anyway, let's wrap this one up. We're closing in on our... Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. White Belt and myself, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. Peace.